Hey, what's going on, guys? It's 5M Creations here coming back with a brand new video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to port forward your 5M server. Now, there's two ways of doing this. The first one is I'm going to be showing you how to port your 5M server. And then the second one is I'm going to be showing you how to port your TX admin. So, say that you have your first computer that runs a server, and then your other computer you play on the game, and uh, you want to access TX, TX admin, you'll be able to access it to your other computer. And you could also set it up to your Wi Fi router. Um, after putting it on your defender's firewall so let's just get started into this and before we start um, if you guys want to join my server I'll leave it up here on the screen just join the discord it doesn't matter what you guys do you guys can do a clan I said that over and over I'm just trying to populate my community and uh, hopefully I see you guys there so to get started with this we're gonna look up advanced advanced def uh, defender firewall Now we're going to click on inbound rules. So make sure you guys are on Windows, Defender, Firewall, and Advanced Security. Now we're going to click on inbound rules. We're going to click on new rule. We're going to click on port. Click next. Now we're going to press TCP. And then this is for 5M. So you're going to type in 30, 120. So 30120. And next. Hit allow connections, hit connect, or next, hit next. Now type in, for me, I'm going to say 5M, sir, or 5M test, I do not know how to spell, test server, TCP. It doesn't matter what you name it, you can name it to anything you want, um, just know that when you look at it, you know that's that's you that's what you put I hit finish now we're gonna create another rule go to port go to next go to UDP and type in 30120 hit next allow connection hit next now type this the same one which I'm gonna do 5m test server UDP hit finish now that's that for your 5M server, and now we're going to be doing for TX admin. For TX admin, we're going to go to port, next, and TCP. Now for TX admin, it's going to be 40120. And that's, that's everything for TX admin. If you log into TX admin, it would be like the sport uh, specified is 40120. So we're going to do that for TCP. Hit next. Hit next, hit next, and now we're going to call this T, TX, admin, TCP, and hit finish. Now we're going to do it again. Go to next, and we're going to go UDP, 40120, and hit next. Allow connection, hit next, and then click, or then type in TX, admin UDP now that's that with the inbound rules and now we're going to go to the outbound rules so for the outbound we're only doing the 5m server we do not have to do it for TX admin and if you guys want to see if it worked is if it has a green tick mark by it if it still has the blue one then I would restart my computer or restart my router to make sure that it finally gets a green mark but for now we're going to go to outbound rules make sure to click on outbound rules and hit new role Hit port, hit next, TCP, 30120, hit next, allow connection, and make sure, because it says block connection for the outband rule, so make sure to connect, or hit allow connection, so hit next, hit next, and I'm going to call this 5M test server UDP, or TCP, my bad. We're going to do it again. New rule. Port. Next. UDP. 30120. Hit next. And hit allow connection. Make sure you don't hit next right away because it's going to have it on block connection. So hit allow connection. Hit next. Hit next again. 5M. Test. Server. UDP. And hit finish. And that will be it for that. 
Now we could just click off inbound. We can click on inbound rules and make sure that those green tick marks are still there. Click on outbound, see if those are still there. But if I were you, I would still restart restart my computer and then restart my server. Okay, we're back here. And I just want to show you guys that you can also do this on your admin render. So if you type in your uh, type in your Atom or your modem GUI address, it should be, if you have it, you should be able to type in a regular like uh, 192.168.0.1. And then you should be able to enter your ad, uh, ad, uh, admin username and also your admin password. And it'll put you onto your, your modem GUI. And so this is where you could change everything. And for my specific modem, so I already have it set on my computer, but I can also set it on my uh, router too. So for me, I'm going to click on port forwarding. And for me, I have to enter a manual uh, I, uh, address. So I'm going to type mine in. Okay, and then for the LAN porting start, you can leave that optional. I would leave it blank if I was you. And then I would go to TCP. So if if I select the protocol, the one ports to forward, I would go down to TCP and UDP, and I would click in zero or three zero one two zero, three zero one two zero. And this is the remember that this port forward right here is the base of five M. You could put in any one you want. Just make sure. If you put like three zero one two five three zero six seven eight, make sure to change it on your inbound and outbound rules. And also, and then uh, then for this, you'd make sure all IP addresses, and then you would hit apply. And make sure it saved. For me, it did. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Hopefully you guys leave a like and also make sure to join the Discord in the description below or type in this uh, join link on screen. Um, hope you guys enjoyed today's video and uh, have fun with your friends. Peace out.